Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on this wacky Monday, 16 November. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Check this out. This is the ES chart. 40 handles from the lows. Um, gap open. 35 handles. I guess it's 36. 16 right now this is slightly delayed no clue no clue why we're here um, no dog in this fight just watching why isn't uh, the 10-year yield higher if we're so risk on don't understand why isn't the gold price lower if we're so risk on gold traded up to 98.4 1898.4 on a massively risk on move overnight uh, no clue uh, why did euro trade up to 54 no idea uh, although 60 is the sort of expected resistance point so that makes a little bit more sense but in general as you can see I have no idea what's going on here today um, totally befuddled by all of this mainly the S&P chart the rest of it just floating around normal normal FX stuff um, but why are S&P's 40 handles higher it's a very very good question especially after Friday's ramp um, I guess we're you know 120 handles from the Thursday lows so I guess this is I don't know path of least resistance not sure um, calendar today looks let's see how it looks I have a feeling it looks pretty weak yeah terrible RBA low speaks 940 that's worth a listen um, then we got Lagarde coming on tap Haskell from the BOE and Cl Clarida uh, late from the Fed. So a bunch of speakers today. Uh, I think checking out low 940 uh, CET, that might be worthwhile. He might actually say something. The rest of the people, uh, BOE, Fed, ECB, are just going to just gonna blah, blah, blah. It's like a Charles... Schultz cartoon. Wah, 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 wah. Um, so I don't know. Like, we're going to keep things super light here. Uh, very surprised at all this. If risk on continues, bonds should go lower. I don't know why this is holding up. This is long bond at 172. Um, this should push through that if this risk on is real um, and if this risk on is not real uh, ES sh should find resistance at 23 which is sort of that shock high you can see this high here um, 3622 and three quarters I mean it's just an hourly high on the dailies sort of very little resistance so then you go to the hourlies and you're like okay we have this high and then we have this high which is sort of pivoty and more important 32 um, so certainly you would expect between 20 and 30 uh, for some at least the beginnings of some sideways action is this going to go straight line all the way back uh, to 3670 we don't think so um, but when you're in a state of confusion and the charts aren't giving you any great levels to jump off at, Aussie turning at the highs, Euro turning at the highs, Cable turning at the highs, but these turns don't really mean anything, right? You can't really jump on board with this. Dollar Yen will be the same chart. Um, you got to see some consolidation or you need to see big powerful turn bars which we're not seeing these are just little dud bars 
Um, so patience is the key. Uh, very little risk is, I think, the key. Unless your long stocks from Friday's close, then you have some money to play with. Then you have some action on the table. If not, I would just slow it all down, take a deep breath, see what's going on. We tried uh, this dollar CNH long on Friday. This was our cut point. Looks like the cut point was the point to go short. But you can see how we made all these lows at 70, so we got long right around the figure. Um, but man, dollar CNH got whacked uh, through that line. This also doesn't make sense to me. China's not in great shape right now. Um, all kinds of financial problems. A lot of things don't make sense to me. And not that things need to make sense in order to trade. You need to either have a good idea of what everyone's position is, um, or there must be a good technical setup, especially in FX. In equities, it's slightly different. Technicals don't mean as much. Um, and just feeling a bit lost all around today you know I mean I thought the gold market was super long but it just keeps going up obviously on Friday when the news came out that the Russian central bank was buying more gold this was sort of a bullish bullish boost to it but you know that kind of news doesn't really change the tide of things um, so I thought gold should be lower gold's higher um, I thought stocks should be lower. I can't see how Biden is good for stocks in any way, shape, or form. Um, a lot of things confuse me right now. So when that happens, great. We're going to have a quiet morning. We're going to just watch price. This is what I've done all my life is just watch price. And as I get a feel for this week's price action and how price is dancing, then uh, we can take a swing. But for now, we're in do-nothing mode. We're just trying to learn and absorb price action. Something will come up. It always does. Patience is the trade. That's all I got for you guys today. Good luck out there. If you are playing, I will uh, see you tomorrow. Ciao.